When I had Juice from New Jack City as a director and Juice from Posse as an actor, I looked at my father and he had written a book about the Black Panther Party for self-defense. And the Black Panthers had been so misrepresented in media and my dad had been unable to get the film made. And I said, you know what, I'm gonna use my clout to do Panther. The experience of making Panther with my, with my dad was such a challenge to get done, but, but so rewarding. You can see things um, out of context and not understand them and not understand per se how it even relates to you or your life. It's like sitting in, in your living room and getting to really know someone well. And I think there's things that you're asking and things that we're talking about that we don't usually get to go into. Ha, nothing. No, no, I saved it. You know, because I was working with my daughter, I, I, the, this is how we do it. I said, you know, what would Maya play? Let me get out of this shower and play something Maya would play. So I'm putting the coconut oil on, getting ready to get cute, you know, smell good, hopefully. And, and I listened to, was it Montel Jordan? This is how we do it. Politics. Don't be so damn old, fool. The thing is, that, that focus I had, I had to have to get to where I am now. So I really would, couldn't say don't be so damn old. I would say um, it's not how many times you fall, it's how many times you get up. Not a great cook, but I do wash the heck out of some dishes. So my daughter could tell you, I make a really good oatmeal. I love Father and Son because it reminded me of me and Dad. I did enjoy the Cosby Show. I'm also enjoying Yellowstone. Yeah, Yellowstone's dropping some science, man. I like sorbet, so and I, I think I go for a mango sorbet. Well, I'm listening to a lot of Marconi, who is a composer who did um, Sergio Leone's films, because I'm doing a Western. And I was listening to a lot of Wu-Tang Clan recently, because I'm working with RZA. So I was listening to some old Dirty Bastard stuff, Shimmy Shimmy Ya Ya. My hobbies changed. Like, you know, I'll, I'll go, let me, like I said, do a little Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, enough to get my ass kicked. Let me do a little salsa, enough to have a little fun on the dance floor. Traveling is a huge hobby. Reading about past lives. Of course, playing with my neighbors across the street who happen to be my kids, that's, that's a big one. I have fond memories of a movie called Night of the Living Dead. Not that it's a favorite movie, but my dad and I saw that together and it scared the shit out of us. It was fun to, to, to let it, to give way to being afraid of, you know, shit. You know, just being kids. And he had the ability to be a kid and I have the ability to be a kid still, so. I've never worked with Morgan Freeman. I'd love to work with Morgan. I think he's got a gravitas that's wonderful. I, I, but I'm getting to work with people. I just met Whippy Goldberg the other day and got to hang with her. We might get to work together soon. And she was on my list of people that I wanted to work with. I was at the White House Correspondents Dinner, so I'm trying to learn new things politically and, and you know, see if I can affect change and be a force for good in other realms outside of cinema and television. You, you stay fresh by continuing to learn and continuing to be excited by things. And, yeah. You're watching me. Mario Van Peebles, uncensored, only on TV One.